everybody. Today we're here to talk about begonias. So there has been a lot of new introductions in the in the begonias over the fat over the past few years. And we're gonna start with the old-fashioned wax begonias, which you're probably all familiar with. This is where it all began. Um, so this is actually a bronze leaf pink. Um, so the bronze color leaf variety will actually take more sun than the green leaf variety. So if you see a green leaf variety, put them more in afternoon shade, morning sun, these guys will take the afternoon sun. So keep that in mind. If you're, if you're going in the ground and you want to plant a bunch into the ground, which is typical with what these are used for, this is a bedding plant. Um, the dark leaf varieties will take more sun, the green leaf for, for shade. So we're going to get into some of these really cool varieties, in my opinion, um, that we grow. And we have multiple colors within these varieties. Just keep that in mind. Um, but we're going to start with dragon wing. So this comes in pink or white and they get big. They're going to get you about 24 inches, um, one plant. And if you have visited us at the store before, the big moss baskets that we have out front of the entrance is that's what these are. So you will know how big they actually get. Um, great for sun or shade. So they're, they're multi, multi use, which is great, especially if you are trying to go around a house or if you have uh, one side of the porch to get sun, one side gets shade, you can use them universally. So it's, it's great. <clears throat> Next up is top hat. So this is basically a wax begonia on steroids, in my opinion. Um, these come in red and pink as well. Um, there is a dark leaf variety and a green leaf variety. These guys are going to get you about 12 to 14 inches or so and they are universal as well. They will go sun or shade. Bigger leaf, bigger flower than a wax begonia. There's not one that's completely open, but the, the flower size is a good half dollar size once it opens. Next up is the Rex begonia. So there are some really cool colors coming out in, in this, uh, this series. Some get smaller, some are bigger. And some of them actually have like a swirled leaf, as you can see here, which is kind of neat. Some of them are more predominant than others, but some really cool colors. These guys do not like the hot afternoon sun. So on a porch, a few hours of morning sun is ideal for them. And they range in size by the variety. So some of them get really big, as you can see, the leaves are, are huge. And then some of them stay pretty small. Next up is the Bossa Nova series. Um, there's another series that looks very similar to this. It's called Groovy, um, but these guys are universal as well. They will go sun or shade. Nice contrasting darker leaf with the, with the flower. This flower actually opens up and it is more bell shaped, but uh, it is more of a, a trailing or a weeping version. So once it gets to size, it is going to start to arch over like a pot or a hanging basket if you use it in that in that way. <clears throat> this is a uh, homolus type begonia, and these come in an array of different colors: pinks, yellows, oranges, reds, whites, um, all over the board. Um, roughly 10, 12 inches in, in height. They do not like the hot afternoon sun. So morning sun in a pot on the porch or in a bed, um, but no hot afternoon sun for these guys. This is uh, the Prism series. So another one that has a multiple different colors, different shades actually within the colors as well. They get a really big flower. Um, they do not like hot after sun, morning sun only on these guys. And I'm gonna pick up this basket here. This is actually a prism basket that we grow. And I mean, look at the size of the flowers on that. That's pretty amazing, but makes a beautiful basket 
for morning sun. Next up is griffin. So griffin gets big, about three feet. So if you have a uh, an area that you want to fill in or need a little contrast in color, it has some nice uh, speckling on the leaves. Not much to flower on this guy. It does flower, but it's it's not much of anything. It's a little pink flower, um, pretty insignificant. But this is a great landscape plant to fill in a shady area. Angel wing. This one is called Miss Mummy, um, but they are known to have like that wing type shape uh, leaf. Not really significant flower on these guys either, kind of similar to the Rex begonias. <clears throat> but they all um, have a real speckling in the leaves. Um, different shades uh, of leaf color and flower color in these guys as well. But these are get, these, this one in particular is going to get pretty tall, about 18 to 24 inches. And then this is one of my favorites. This is Iconia. So this is a versatile one. This will go um, either sun or shade. I would preferably go a little bit of afternoon shade uh, would be the perfect scenario with it. But this is a more weeping variety as well. So here is, here's an Iconia white in a hanging basket. And you can see how it hangs down over the pot. But they're a great, great basket or a great to mix in a, a shady container for the porch. That's that's all of the different varieties that we grow. And uh, thanks for tuning in and, and learning about begonias today.